cute. I think it even, even works. Okay. to my channel i am selena today we are doing a european summer thrift haul this is actually a part two if you saw my other video i did find some great items from goodwill for a european summer as i am going to greece this year um i said i don't really thrift that often in that video i really don't <laughs> but my friend she wanted to get more summery pieces so i went with her and i've never been to this thrift store before it's called america's thrift no i didn't realize that they have a lot of locations around the u.s and it was actually pretty decent i feel like it's a marshall's mixed with you know your local thrift store and they had a lot of name brands i know prices at other thrift stores are going up really high right now so i found some pretty decent things and i'm excited to show y'all today and maybe do a little try on the first thing i found this is actually going to be a gift. I think the person that this is for, my sister-in-law, I don't think she'll watch this video, but uh, this is what's gonna be in your birthday <laughs> basket. And of course, um, knowing her, she doesn't mind that certain books may be thrifted. But she is really artistic and she actually went to school for art. And this is a Vincent Van Gogh book of postcards. This was $1.50. It retails for $9.95 in the U.S. It actually had stamps inside the book. Um, the lady scanned it and didn't do anything, but uh, are these forever stamps? I have no idea. I might ask my two friends who work at the post office. It says 2000. Um, so anyways, this is so cute. Just like look at how pretty. I don't want to bend it too much, but... Definitely think it's a very unique gift. Let's go through this big old bag of stuff. I'm keeping this bag on the floor and also my puppy is on the floor, Mochi, who you've probably seen a lot. So if I'm walking around all weird, that's why. I'm going to do a haul and then I'll try everything on at the end. First up, I was thinking of a European look. I'll put some examples from Pinterest right here, but I really was, looking for neutral colors, things that I can mix and match, flowy, Mamma Mia coastal, more like, just more like Mamma Mia. And, okay, hold on, I'm trying not to step on my dog. This is the first thing I got. It's like a midi skirt. I, I try everything on in the store too, so this fits really nicely. This is by Autograph New York. I missed the price on, okay, this was $4. I also found this shirt that I think would go really well. This is like a crop top. It is, oh, it's an extra small. I think I lied, I did not try this one on in the store, but it is stretchy. I think it would go really well with that tan skirt. Uh, this was $4. I also got my husband some things. He is going to Greece as well, and I don't know if he's gonna wear these items on vacation, but I know he needed some new shirts. This is by H&M Slim Fit T-shirt, 369. I think he just wanted some basic items. If he gets new clothes, it's maybe like once every five years. There are some shirts that I got if he doesn't want them, I kind of want to wear them. <laughs> He's not very much a person who would wear a lot of graphic tees, I would, or he doesn't like to wear things that have words on them, which I don't really, but if it's like Rugrats, I do have a Hannah Montana shirt. If it's something like that, I would like it. This is an Outcast shirt. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? And $4.99. I honestly cannot read that brand. Maybe it's been washed so many times, but isn't that so cute? I think also too, if he doesn't want this, I could cut the neckline. I think that'll be really cute. This is something that I tried on in the store. It really has that grease, mamma mia, white. Um, are these like eyelet type materials? I just love that so much and how it cinches and it can be off the shoulder. This brand is Ambience Size Medium. 
The price is $4.99. This, I'm kind of curious if this should be my birthday dress. What do you guys think? My birthday is in July. It's July 18th. Okay, I, <laughs> I know it looks very sparkly. It's velvet, y'all. I don't know. Do you like velvet? Tell me what you think. I tried this on in the store and it looked way better than I thought it would. Because I tried Ruchet or Rushed, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I tried Ruchet dresses on too and they did not flatter me. This did. I don't know. I'm also thinking of like 90s fashion in Greece. Do you know what I mean? Y'all remember that Full House episode where Uncle Jesse had Greek family members come into town and then that girl, she's like, we're married. Okay, I don't want to spoil the ending if you haven't seen it even though that show came out in the 90s, but who knows, you may be binge watching it and you haven't seen it. But anyways, her style, I'll put a picture right here. I kind of am thinking about that or like Mary Kay and Ashley. I'll put some examples. <laughs> I feel like I talk about Mary Kay and Ashley all the time here, but I'm thinking of fashion like that and wearing that in Greece too, like that type of style. I think it's so cute and timeless. I'll remember that song what's all the noise about boys that's what i think of with this and i'm like that is so cute when they went to the dance but most of the time i talk about mary kane ashley people don't know so if you know please let me know down in the comments if you're with me with that because that's just one of those things that i get excited about and no one else gets excited so i'm really wanting someone to get excited with me about mary kate and ashley and about full house too another plain t-shirt this is by goodfellow so that is a target brand this is from my husband size small just plain he was looking for plain t-shirts this was 7.29 which is a lot for a thrifted shirt however target is one of those few stores that have decent clothes for my husband target has some really good slim fit items there, especially the Goodfellow brand. All right, this t-shirt, I think it's for me. I mean, I was looking in the men's section and I'm thinking about wearing this and maybe cutting it. This was $3.69. It is the brand Fruit of the Loom, size small, but it says psychologist. And look, do you get it? Psychologist? That is so cute and just very cool. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of like Tumblr. I don't know. But anyways, I just thought it was cool. H&M crew neck t-shirt, slim fit, small, $8.99. But again, this is more so for him. I feel like it's easier to find clothes for women and girls than it is for men in his size, like for small shirts. It is kind of harder to find a cute one. I feel like they're really gone easily. $8.69, this is a Nike shirt. They had some other colors there, but I just thought one, I think he didn't really want more, a lot of t-shirts, but since he doesn't get a lot of new clothes or new to us clothes, <laughs> I was like, that is cute. I got this specifically because it, it looks like a sun shirt. It's by uh, 32 degrees, size small, 529. I feel like in my research for Greece, we are thinking about the heat. So I think just having at least some sort of cooling shirt will help. My friend who I went with at the thrift store, she found this for me because I love this color. I was actually wearing this color at the thrift store. $6.49. They're kind of like running shorts, size small, which normally I'm a size medium, but I guess it kind of depends how stretchy. And this is by A-U-T-O-M-E-T, -E Automet. Oh, okay, here's the last t-shirt, I think. But I thought this t-shirt was kind of ironic because, well, let me just show you and then I'll tell you why. 369, a Fruit of the Loom, size medium. But it says, get that bread. And it has a duck on there. You know how when you were little, you probably went to the park or the lake and you fed ducks bread? And then you grow up and you hear that that's bad for them. So I think it's just kind of ironic, like get that bread but I see it as like, get that money. <laughs> so I don't know. I think I'm gonna cut this up or kind of sleep in this. This was just by face. I got a romper. I think rompers are kind of hit or miss depending on how they fit on me. But this is by the brand Divided, Divided, Divided and it's a size small, 5.99. 
it's the Greek colors. I did try this on and I couldn't tell, but my friend said it was fine. I liked it though. I just want to make sure that it's not, like I don't want to be too cliche if I'm over there only wearing blue and white, but it's so pretty. I think Divided is from H&M. Last but not least, I did get a swimsuit from the thrift store. Let me know if you thrift, like do you get swimsuits? Cause I actually feel fine if I wash them a couple times or I'll do mix and match. Like I buy my own bottoms new from like Walmart or Target and then I get a different top. But this is just different. I don't know, I'm kind of indifferent about it. I feel like if you wash your clothes with like really hot water during your thrift trips, that's fine. But I tried this on, so this, it's kind of rare to see a top and a bottom matching set when you thrift. So I found these, I think it's so cute. I just really like those bright colors with my complexion. Sometimes I get worried about wearing tan or nude because I'm like, do I look naked? But I think this is a good pop of color to balance it out. All right, that's everything I got. We're just gonna try on the things that I got for me and then some of those fun t-shirts and see. If you're wondering where I got my current outfit from, this is from Shein, this dress. And then these earrings my husband got me for Christmas. I think they're either from Timu or Amazon. I can find out for you. But let me do a quick outfit of the day if you're wondering what this dress looks like. <laughs> Now it's time to try everything we got on. This extra small is not too tight. I definitely would not wear an extra small on something that doesn't stretch, but this is not bad at all. I was kind of worried about my arms. I think I would just put silver jewelry with this, but I love this dress. for watching and let me know if you're having a European summer or if you have went if you have any tips for a European summer please let me know I will see y'all in the next video bye